So Bitcoin is right now trading just above twenty three thousand dollars. If you want to capture, you know, the values, uh, you want to make sure that you are looking at, you know, the lower time frame, because if you zoom out and you look at the bigger time frame, if you look at the daily, if you look at the weekly and if you look at the monthly, it is very, very clear that we are still in a downtrend. But if you go down and you look at the lower time frame, you know, the four hour is actually looking really good right now. Uh, you know, the two hours, you know, looking really good right now, you know, the 30 minutes, the 15 minutes, you know, whatever lower time frame that you trade is most likely looking positive right now. So looking at Bitcoin right now, guys, on the four hour, you know, we recently broke above uh, the 21 EMA. And as you guys can see, I mean, the performance has been absolutely incredible. Bitcoin is right now pulling back, you know, as of this recording. So we are pulling back. Uh, but if you look at, you know, our recent pullbacks, you know, the 21 EMA on the four hour has really done a great job holding as a support. So uh, the bigger question is, you know, are we going to hold uh, the 21 EMA on the four hour as a support? Or are we, for the first time, you know, since breaking above, you know, the 21 EMA recently, you know, is the 21 EMA not going to hold as a support? And if we break below the 21 EMA, are we going to drop all the way back to retest $20,000? So that is, you know, the bigger question. You know, if you are looking at the lower time frame. Uh, you can clearly see, you know, how much of a disaster uh, we tend to, you know, experience whenever the price of Bitcoin slides below, you know, slides below the 21 uh, EMA on, you know, the four hour. Uh, this is a huge, you know, pullback uh, from 22,000, you know, and $400, you know, all the way down to 18,000. You know, that was a 15% pullback you know, right after losing the 21 EMA on the four hour, uh, you know, before that, right? So preview to that, you had another huge move to the downside from $21,835, you know, all the way down to $18,656. And this was a 14% move to the downside, you know, right after losing the 21 EMA on the four hour. And if you go back, you know, just before this move to the downside, you had another drop. I mean, this is a massive one, you know, from 30,000 all the way down to, you know, $17,000. And this right here, guys, was a move of, you know, 44%. So you can clearly see that if we lose the 21 EMA on the four hour, so if this 21 EMA is not able to hold as a support, you know, recently the average drop has been more than 15%. So if we go down, you know, 15% from, you know, $24,000, uh, basically, you know, that brings the price of Bitcoin all the way down to $20,540. So very, very important guys, you know, in the short term, uh, the, the, the 21 EMA on the four hour, you know, is able, you know, to hold as a support because otherwise, if we see, you know, an average of, you know, the last, you know, corrections right after losing the 21 EMA, the price of Bitcoin can potentially drop all the way down to, you know, $20,000. So, Keep your eyes on the 21 EMA on the four hour. If we drop all the way down to the one hour, uh, very, very interesting. Uh, we have already lost, you know, the 21 EMA. Uh, but of course, you know, the one hour is going, you know, on the one hour time frame, you know, things are going to be more volatile, you know, compared to uh, the four hour. But what I do like, you know, that's happening on the on the one hour right now is the fact that, you know, despite the fact that we continue to see a lot of volatility, 
you know, the price of Bitcoin, you know, continues to go up and we continue to put in, you know, higher highs and higher lows. And as long as we continue on, as long as we continue with this trend right here, guys, you know, the price of Bitcoin is most definitely going to continue to go up. Now, in terms of, you know, potential price targets, you know, I really believe that if we do break, I mean, since we broke above, you know, $22,000, that the price of Bitcoin is most likely going to, you know, retest, you know, $25,000, which is going to be our first, you know, local potential resistance. And once we take out, you know, $25,000, which I believe we are going to take out $25,000, uh, at $25,000, I mean, you don't really have, you know, stronger resistance because all you have, guys, is, you know, this huge, you know, daily candle, uh, this huge wick right here. So I do believe that we are easily, you know, going to break above uh, $25,000. And once we break above $25,000, I think $28,000 and, you know, $32,000, this is going to be the range that you have to keep your eyes on. If you also look at the daily MACD, it is looking extremely bullish right now. You know, we are about to break above above the zero line. Uh, so once we break above the zero line, you know, we are back in, you know, bullish territory, you know, for the first time in a very, very long time. You know, the last time the daily MACD was, you know, trading in, you know, bullish territory. So right above, you know, the, the MACD zero line, you have to go all the way back to you know late march and early april so once this is confirmed you know once this daily macd breaks above the zero line uh most likely guys you are going to see a sharper move that is going to push you know the price of bitcoin above twenty five thousand dollars and again once we break above you know twenty five thousand dollars which i believe we are easily going to break above twenty five thousand dollars I think Bitcoin, you know, for the first time since losing, you know, this range right here, I think Bitcoin is going to retest this $28,000 and $32,000 price range. So this is not something new that I've talked about. You know, this is something that I've talked about for the past, you know, couple of weeks, couple of months now. You know, I've talked about, you know, a proper bear market rally. When you zoom out and you look at the performance of, you know, Bitcoin since $48,000, you know, it has been very, very clear that we haven't seen, you know, a proper bear market rally since, you know, $48,000. Uh, this is something that was needed. You know, I think it is happening right now and it shouldn't be a surprise if Bitcoin, you know, a few days or a few weeks from today, is trading in this $28,000 and $32,000 range. This is where you need to keep your eyes on. You know, this is where a lot of traders, you know, a lot of, you know, momentum traders, a lot of swing traders, this is where they are going to be looking to take profits. And I think, you know, those who are looking to go short are going to be looking at this range right here and once we get rejected right here, you are going to see, you know, a lot of, you are going to see a lot of bears, you know, enter a short position anywhere around, you know, 27,000 or $26,000 on our way down. Because most likely guys, if we get rejected, you know, you are going to see something like this. So we go all the way up into this range. Uh, how long we spend in this range, you know, I really don't know. It could be a quick, you know, it could be a quick retest into, tw you know, 28,000, get rejected and come back down. Or we can spend, you know, a couple of days or maybe a couple of weeks in this range right here, then get rejected and come back down here. So somewhere around here, guys, you know, somewhere around 16,000, if we get rejected, 
you know, some somewhere around twenty six thousand. Excuse me, not sixteen. Somewhere around twenty six thousand dollars. I think you are going to see, you know, a lot of bears, you know, enter a short position, uh, anywhere around twenty six thousand or, you know, twenty seven thousand, even around twenty five thousand dollars, and ride Bitcoin all the way back to around you know twenty thousand or seventeen thousand dollars. So uh, something like this is, I believe, is most likely to play out, you know, in the next couple months. You know, I think we need to respect this bear market rally. You know, it is happening right now. It could potentially, you know, continue to go on for another, you know, couple weeks, you know, maybe one to two months. But once we approach that twenty eight thousand and thirty two thousand dollars, you know, you need to be, you know, very cautious uh, this is going to be a range that is going to be very tough, you know, for Bitcoin to break above. And I don't think our first retest, you know, we are going to successfully break above this thirty-two, uh, this twenty-eight thousand and thirty-two thousand dollar range. I think we are going to get rejected, and I think we are going to come back to retest, you know, these levels right here. So seventeen thousand and twenty thousand dollars. You know, this is going to be the range that we are going to retest, you know, once again. And if we do come back to retest this range, it is going to be, you know, very, very interesting to see how this is, to see how this is going to, you know, act as a support. Because I honestly believe that if we do come back down, we are going to lose, you know, this seventeen thousand and twenty thousand dollar range, and of course, if we if we lose this range right here, guys, it is most likely the price of Bitcoin will come all the way back to around ten thousand dollars and fourteen thousand, which I personally believe is where the bottom is most likely to be. This is where I am, you know, keeping my eyes on uh, not right now but once this bear mark uh, this bear market rally is over you know over the next couple months i think if, you know a ten thousand or a fourteen thousand dollar bitcoin is most likely so we just have to be a little bit more patient and see how you know bitcoin and you know the overall cryptocurrency market performs you know sometimes towards the end of 2022 and early 2023 so let me know in the comment section your thoughts on you know bitcoin uh potential price targets and if you're just joining us right now you know just to kind of summarize you know i think bitcoin is heading towards twenty eight thousand and thirty two thousand dollars in the next couple of weeks but i don't think that the bottom is in i continue to believe that we are going to get rejected in that twenty eight thousand and thirty two thousand dollar range and we are going to see the final drop that is going to bring Bitcoin all the way back to, you know, ten thousand and fourteen thousand dollars. But again, if this is your first time, guys, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. So hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure that you like the video as well. Uh, it really does help with the YouTube algorithm.